Welcome to Healthcare Channel. Typhoid fever is a serious illness caused by the bacteria Salmonella typhi. The illness is characterized by fever, headache, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. Typhoid fever is spread through contaminated food or water, and is most common in developing countries where sanitation and hygiene are poor. If left untreated, it can lead to serious complications and even death. In this video, we will discuss the treatment options for typhoid fever. The first step in treating typhoid fever is to confirm the diagnosis through laboratory tests. Once a diagnosis has been made, treatment can begin. The goal of treatment is to eliminate the bacteria from the body and relieve the symptoms of the illness. Antibiotics are the primary treatment for typhoid fever. The most commonly used antibiotics are fluoroquinolones and cephalosporins. These antibiotics are highly effective in killing the bacteria that cause typhoid fever. The choice of antibiotic depends on the severity of the illness, the age of the patient, and the local resistance patterns of the bacteria. It is important to complete the full course of antibiotics, even if symptoms improve after a few days. Failure to complete the full course of antibiotics can lead to the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which can be more difficult to treat. In addition to antibiotics, other treatments may be needed to manage the symptoms of typhoid fever. Pain relievers such as acetaminophen can be used to reduce fever and relieve headaches and body aches. Anti-diarrheal medications can be used to relieve diarrhea, but should only be used under the guidance of a healthcare provider. In severe cases of typhoid fever, hospitalization may be necessary. This is especially true if the patient is experiencing complications such as dehydration, intestinal bleeding, or perforation of the intestines. In the hospital, the patient will receive intravenous fluids and electrolytes to replace those lost due to diarrhea and vomiting. Oxygen therapy may also be needed if the patient is having difficulty breathing. Prevention is also an important part of treating typhoid fever. Good hygiene practices such as hand washing and food safety can help prevent the spread of the bacteria. In addition, vaccination against typhoid fever is recommended for people traveling to areas where the disease is common. The vaccine is available in both oral and injectable forms. In conclusion, typhoid fever is a serious illness that requires prompt treatment with antibiotics. It is important to complete the full course of antibiotics to prevent the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. In addition, other treatments may be needed to manage the symptoms of the illness. Prevention through good hygiene practices and vaccination is also important in controlling the spread of typhoid fever. Thanks for watching.